Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis, were a species of archaic humans who lived between 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. They were named after the Neanderthal Valley in Germany, where their first fossils were discovered in 1856. The Neanderthal fossil discovery in 1856 challenged the prevailing belief that humans had always been in their current form, sparking debates about human evolution. Neanderthals had a distinctive brow ridge, larger nose, and a more robust build compared to modern humans. Their robust build allowed them to withstand the physical demands of hunting large game and living in colder climates. They had a brain size similar to or slightly larger than that of Homo sapiens. Neanderthals' brain structure differed from Homo sapiens with a larger occipital lobe, which could have influenced their visual processing abilities. Studies of Neanderthal brain size suggest that brain organization and connectivity might have differed from Homo sapiens, affecting cognitive functions. Neanderthals were skilled toolmakers, using the Mousterian stone tool technology. Neanderthals' Mousterian tools, characterized by blade and scraper technologies, demonstrate their advanced lithic skills. They crafted tools from flint, quartzite, and other materials for various purposes like hunting, butchering, and scraping hides. Besides hunting, Neanderthals also scavenged from carcasses left by other predators, maximizing their access to protein. Neanderthals made use of fire for warmth, cooking, and possibly as a social gathering point. Evidence of controlled fire use comes from hearths and burnt bone fragments found at various Neanderthal sites. Evidence suggests they controlled and maintained fire, not just exploiting naturally occurring flames. They might have passed on fire-making knowledge through cultural transmission, ensuring its continued use over generations. They lived in small family groups, typically consisting of around 10 to 15 individuals. Neanderthal family groups had a high degree of cooperation and interdependence, crucial for survival in challenging environments. Neanderthals had complex social behaviors, including caring for injured or sick members of their group. Caring for injured or sick individuals indicates empathy and social cohesion, traits associated with complex societies. They buried their dead, with some sites showing evidence of intentional burial and grave goods. Some Neanderthal burials contained flowers or other items, suggesting they held beliefs in an afterlife or honored their deceased. Neanderthals engaged in symbolic behavior, as indicated by cave art, and the use of personal ornaments like beads. Cave art and personal ornaments imply a capacity for symbolic communication, a fundamental aspect of human cognition. They hunted large game such as mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and deer, often using ambush tactics. Ambush hunting required planning and coordination, showcasing Neanderthals' cognitive abilities and social organization. Neanderthals used spears, possibly employing a technique called atlatl for greater throwing distance and accuracy. The atlatl, a spear-throwing device, increased the range and force of their projectiles, allowing them to hunt more effectively. They made clothing from animal hides, providing protection against harsh cold climates. Neanderthals developed sophisticated tanning methods to create durable and flexible clothing from animal hides. Neanderthals were adaptable, living in a wide range of environments from forest to open grasslands. Their adaptability enabled them to survive in diverse environments, from the Mediterranean coast to the Arctic tundra. Their diet was diverse, including meat, fish, plants, and possibly even shellfish. Neanderthals consumed a wide variety of plant foods, including nuts, fruits, and tubers, depending on seasonal availability. Neanderthals had a more limited geographic range than Homo sapiens, mainly inhabiting Europe and parts of Western Asia. Their geographic range overlapped with Homo sapiens during the late Pleistocene, leading to cultural exchanges and interbreeding. They occupied areas from Spain to present-day Iraq, with fossils found as far east as Uzbekistan. Neanderthal fossils in Central Asia suggest they migrated beyond Europe, indicating a wider exploration of territories. 
Neanderthals experienced several glacial periods, forcing them to adapt their lifestyle and migrate to more hospitable regions. Climate fluctuations forced Neanderthals to adapt their living strategies, such as moving to lower elevations during colder periods. They were skilled at making stone shelters by modifying natural rock formations. Rock shelters provided protection from harsh weather and predators, contributing to their survival in variable environments. Neanderthals had a relatively low population density, which may have contributed to their eventual extinction. Low population density might have hindered genetic diversity and made their populations more vulnerable to environmental pressures. Genetic studies reveal that Neanderthals interbred with Homo sapiens when they encountered each other, leaving a genetic legacy in non-African populations. The interbreeding between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens introduced beneficial genes, like those related to skin and hair adaptation. Modern humans carry approximately 1 to 2 percent of Neanderthal DNA. Non-African modern humans inherited Neanderthal DNA segments that influence traits like skin tone, hair texture, and immune response. The exact reason for Neanderthal extinction is debated, with theories ranging from climate change to competition with Homo sapiens. Competing theories for Neanderthal extinction include resource depletion, competition with Homo sapiens, or a combination of factors. Neanderthals had a lower vocal tract anatomy, suggesting a more limited range of speech sounds compared to Homo sapiens. The Neanderthal vocal tract anatomy suggests they could produce some complex sounds, but not as many as Homo sapiens. They were capable of complex problem solving, as shown by the Elephoraci, one individual who used a complex fracture technique to extract bone marrow. The Elephoraci, one individual's bone marrow extraction technique, displays advanced understanding of animal anatomy and survival strategies. Neanderthals were skilled at napping flint, creating sharp edged tools with precision. Neanderthals' precise flint knapping skills indicate a high level of manual dexterity and cognitive planning. They were the first known humans to create bone tools using materials like antlers and ivory. Bone tools, like harpoons and needles, demonstrate Neanderthals' innovation and technological sophistication. Neanderthals used Lavalois technique, a sophisticated method of stone tool production that maximized the yield of usable flakes. The Lavalois technique allowed Neanderthals to produce standardized and efficient stone tools, increasing their effectiveness. They made hafted tools, attaching stone blades to wooden handles for improved efficiency. Hafted tools, like composite arrows, were more versatile and powerful, enhancing their hunting capabilities. Neanderthals had a strong sense of smell, indicated by the well-developed olfactory region in their skulls. Their well-developed olfactory region suggests they relied heavily on scent for communication and survival. They were likely able to perceive colors, as suggested by the presence of pigments in their living spaces. Neanderthals' use of ochre and other pigments hints at a rudimentary form of body decoration or symbolic expression. Neanderthals had a larger nasal cavity than Homo sapiens, which may have helped them in cold environments by warming and humidifying air. The larger nasal cavity design might have also helped them conserve water in dry environments. They had a more robust immune system, as evidenced by their DNA, which might have protected them against local pathogens. A stronger immune system might have protected Neanderthals from local diseases, but made them more susceptible to new pathogens introduced by Homo sapiens. Neanderthals had a higher prevalence of osteoarthritis, possibly due to their physically demanding lifestyle. Osteoarthritis in Neanderthals could be attributed to their physically demanding lifestyle, such as repetitive toolmaking and hunting activities. They had a longer childhood than expected, with signs of slower growth and extended dependency on caregivers. Extended childhood dependency in Neanderthals suggests a strong emphasis on learning and socialization within their groups. Neanderthals had a reduced risk of heart disease, as suggested by their low levels of the ApoE4 gene variant. 
The APOE4 gene variant, linked to Alzheimer's and Homo sapiens, has a low prevalence in Neanderthals, implying a reduced risk of neurodegenerative diseases. They had a high tolerance for cold, as indicated by their body shape and thick layer of subcutaneous fat. Neanderthals' cold-adapted body shape resembled modern Inuit populations, with stocky builds and shorter limbs. Neanderthals showed signs of intentional modification of animal bones, possibly for ritual or symbolic purposes. The intentional modification of animal bones, like engraving or shaping, could have served as a form of communication or storytelling. They had a diverse stone tool industry, with regional variations in tool types and techniques. Regional variations in tool types hint at cultural differences between Neanderthal groups, reflecting local environmental influences. Neanderthals were capable of long-distance migrations, as seen from the discovery of Neanderthal artifacts in far-flung locations. Long-distance migrations demonstrate their ability to navigate unfamiliar landscapes and exploit new resources. They had a strong understanding of topography, utilizing caves and rock shelters for shelter and resource storage. Neanderthal's use of caves and rock shelters indicates a deep understanding of their environment and natural resources. Neanderthals created hearths within their shelters, indicating a settled lifestyle with semi-permanent dwellings. Permanent hearths indicate a sedentary lifestyle, which could have fostered more complex social interactions and cultural development. They used bone and stone tools to process plant materials, suggesting a knowledge of plant resources beyond just food. Processing plant materials suggests they utilized a broader range of resources for shelter tools and possibly medicinal purposes. Neanderthals had a higher prevalence of dental pathologies, possibly due to a hard food diet and poor oral hygiene. Dental pathologies in Neanderthals might have been exacerbated by a diet rich in abrasive foods like raw meat and bone. They had a complex social hierarchy, as inferred from the distribution of resources and tools at archaeological sites. The distribution of resources and tools at archaeological sites suggests a division of labor based on age, gender, or skill set. Neanderthals had a unique way of holding their hand, with a curved pinky finger different from modern humans. The curved pinky finger in Neanderthals could have been an adaptation for gripping heavy tools or managing friction during tool making. They had a lower incidence of infectious diseases compared to early Homo sapiens, possibly due to their smaller population size. Their lower incidence of infectious diseases might have resulted from lower population, density, and less exposure to pathogens. Neanderthals are an essential part of human evolution, teaching us about the complexity and diversity of ancient human societies. By studying Neanderthals, scientists can better understand the evolution of human cognition, culture, and social structures, enriching our knowledge of our own origins.